Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of SH Figure Arts Onk Stand Set from Common Rider O's. In other words, it's like reviewing one eighth of a figure. So, um, if you obviously if you know, they came with uh, they um, the original O's Tots about Figure Art first release uh, came with a Onk hand, but they decided to give us a main release Onk Stand Set with one an arm that's painted better and a bunch of different hand choices. For whatever reason, Onk's popular. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it. So, the packaging is smaller than all other Figure Arts packaging, obviously. It's done in kind of this rainbowy Onk color to, you know, represent his arm. You got a picture of Onk's uh, holding the medal's arm. Figure Arts description. Uh, it says, Common Rider O's Onk stand set. You got the logo down here. Name on this side, name on that side, name on the top. Numbers. On the back, it shows Onk talking to O's. Um, some of the, all the different hands you get. And then the stand, simple style heroic action, yeah, with a hand. Um, so what, other than the one that's on him, his hand right now is kind of this pointing hand, it's like, Edgy, do something. Um, he comes with this angry, uh, kind of, gra gonna grab your face hand, give me your face. Um, he comes with a fist, like a closed fist. He comes with, uh, giving Edgy the Tatuba medals hands, or just holding them. And they're actually, you can't really see it, but they actually have the designs on them, which is pretty neat. And then he comes with holding popsicle hands in true Onk fashion. Um, and then he comes with this stand, which is all clear, and there's nothing to it, like no Onk writing on it or anything. And then he comes with these two sections here, which actually come off. I'll show you one, because they're the same thing. A bunch of stacked cell medals. And if you can see, they actually have individual animal designs on them, which is really cool, actually. Um, so it's, he's pretty well accessorized, I guess you could say, like, all the greeds come with something like this, so why not him? So here's the Ankh arm, um, it's nicely painted for sure, uh, got a glossy paint to it, got all the Ankh rainbow-esque colors. Here's the hand itself that it's on at default, it's kind of pointing, and he's got nice details, and he's got all the rings on it. On the bottom here, um, articulation is 360 and up and down and such. I'll switch one of the hands out just to show you. Now some people think, well I mean, you probably could take the lost uh, Ankh figure art and replace his hand. There he is holding some metal, so I'll leave that on for now because that looks cool. I'll leave the pops that going on actually. Um, anyway, is that you could take this Ankh arm and put it on your lost Ankh, which I'm pretty sure is for true. That sounded weird. Um, but others think that it's also going to come with a complete Ankh head. I don't think that the Bandai would pass up the opportunity to release both a lost and regular Ankh figure art. So... Well, I could still see myself getting lost on and putting these on it. I still think they're gonna have a whole separate release, but definitely with having so many fists, including well, actually, I'm not gonna put this on yet, including a, a, a regular fist, then I could see them making that a possibility. So anyway, here's the original Unk release. It actually comes with a stand that says Unk, and it's got a silhouetted picture of him. Um, so it's nice that it's got its own stand. I'm surprised this doesn't say something. Um, but here's a comparison shot. Um, you've got, the paint's pretty similar, this one's more glossy, and just has a better color palette to it, basically. Um, obviously they're holding different things now, but where's that old hand? And the hand is painted a lot better, uh, this one doesn't have any rings or any general detail, so it is a lot better detail, but, you know, the other one was a freebie. Let me just put this on, and I'm pretty sure that you can just, here's the old onk hand, switch out his hands, let's try that, let's try putting this one on it. I don't see why not. Other than this one being generally more difficult. Um, yeah, that can fit. I think it can fit. It's giving me a lot of trouble. Maybe you can't fit it. I don't know. This doesn't seem like mine's working that well. It's a different joint, I guess. I thought that would work. But, that being said, the joint on uh, Nuonk's arm is a lot easier to get hands on. So that's a pretty short review for a pretty weird set. Um, do I recommend it? I don't know. Like, if you're a huge Ankh fan of the character, which he is a pretty badass character, then this is pretty cheap and it's cool to have and you can probably attach it later to your lost Ankh to make real Ankh. Um, but otherwise it's an easy skip. I mean, it still saves you a little bit of money. It's just kind of silly. 
and weird to have, but if you're a huge Ankh fan, it's it's inexpensive and kind of neat. It's just kind of a, like a niche thing to have, I don't know. It's really hard to recommend, so it's just kind of middle ground. It basically depends on your preferences. So that's about it for this review. Until next time, make sure you check out writersrangersandrambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible. And of course, while you're there, check out the crazy podcast and the crazy ramboard. So until next time, it's Dawson Ryder, signing